Right folks, I've come down that little bridle path. I'm on the west, I'm on the Coleridge Way. I'm on the Coleridge Way heading to Bicknoller. If you go that way, you go towards West Quantop Head. Okay? It's a nice breeze actually. I'm I'm enjoying this cooling breeze. Oh, I forgot to have a paracetamol. Not to worry. Next stop. Oh, I'm off Quantox. Skirting the edge now. Skirting the edge. It's surprising how a little bit of knee irritation can slow you up though. It's surprising. Look at these lovely tall Douglas ferns here. I don't know if they are Douglas ferns, but Douglas ferns do tend to be tall. Of course, the name Douglas fern, I think, comes from the bloke called Douglas, who was a bloke that played around with seeds and grew a load of trees. In the end, when he was in Canada or somewhere, he fell into a bear trap and got eaten by a bear. That's what I've, that's the story. Or he fell there and he couldn't get out or something. I'll have to look it up for real. So here we are then, we're on the, this is where Coleridge and Wordsworth would have done some of their walking. They were ardent walkers. It helped inspire them for their poems, their ballads and their political thoughts. <sighs> yeah, they weren't, they weren't hounded out of the village, but uh, they did close the doors on them a bit because they thought they were too radical in their thinking. They were men of, and his sister Dorothy as well, where's her sister, they were men and women, if you like, not before their time, they were of their time, their insight. Do you know what I mean? They had insight. They had feelings. Thoughts, feelings. It looks like a deer run, doesn't it? You can imagine that big herd of 50 odd deer coming over the top. Coming down here. Jumping those fences easy. I've noticed, see, I've made the fencing higher to try and deter to deter the yeah I've done this walk a few times I could have gone straight over the top but I thought no I wanted to explore some other routes and like I say in the uh, winter when the brackens all die down you get more of a naked image of the place you can see more more of the shapes the outlines so, because some, some tracks will probably almost get hidden by the tall bracken. Even along here, you'll, the bracken will be tall. So, oh. what I remember about it is undulating, yeah. I mean, in theory, someone would say, well, you should have left to not gone out till your leg feels better. I can't. I, the, the walking weather is here. And uh, just in a big sparrowhawk land. 
He might be eating his prey now. Look, see? It might, it might come. So that's a sparrowhawk. He's just landed. I think he's eating something. Either that or a peregrine falcon. He's tucking into a meal. He just landed with it. Yeah, he's eating it. He was big when he landed. So look at that. He's landing on top of a tree now. That was quite a nice view of him. That, it could have been a sparrow hawk. He, he might have been a... There he is. What do you think that is, everyone? Anyone know? Sparrowhawk, I think. They're very close, aren't they? Look like similar birds. I've got sparrowhawk eyes. I've seen him land. I've seen he had something. I can't m remember how many years ago it was I first... It was a long time ago, I know that. It could have been round about... 2009. That's 2008, 2009. That's when I first started to go out exploring. I just not long retired. And, um, I wanted to do the Coleridge Walk. I remember I was so fit. I was much fitter. I wouldn't have had an aching knee. Uh, lungs might have been a bit dodgy, though, because of the smoking habit that I'd just given up. But I, I remember doing that. I did a massive walk that day, though. You know what I mean? The thing is, I probably left from Nether Stowey, did the whole of the Coleridge Walk. It was a massive walk that I did. I went, actually went to Bitnola and looked around the church. Came back, walked back up to Holford to get the bus home. The bus used to pick you up in those days. Or I would have got it from, um, sometimes West Quantock Peb would pick you up. If not you, as Holford. Yeah. I wouldn't think anything of doing a massive walk like that. I had very, very strong legs always because of the running days. The swimming days. This is an unfortunate accident I had on my knee. Where I, f I was on a chair. I slipped. I fell. Landed on that knee. And it was twisted at a funny angle. Now it did seem to get better pretty quick actually. And I haven't really had a lot of trouble with it. Um, but this past two weeks, it really is messing me about. When it knows I've got to go out, do me walks, trying to slow me up. lovely though look at that so the scene no under Coleridge and Wordsworth walked here though there's the church down there no wonder they walked here when all the daffodils were out and things like that the rhyme of the ancient mariner apparently Coleridge put together when he was living at Nether Stowey and walked the Quan Quantocks Wordsworth don't forget lived at Old Fox and House which is now run by Buddhist monks. I usually do that walk at least once a year, and it will be on the cards. But like I said, this today, this is what I class as a, a gentle, medium... We must call it medium size now. Uh, yeah. 
It's nice to just do something fresh though. So I'll tell you why, because I'll tell you why. I, I've got circuits that I do. And to be quite honest, sometimes you can just, it becomes not a slog, but it's like you've got to get that done and you, you've got to do it. It's Holford. And now I think, you know, I must look around all the other areas. Bicknola is the new place to head out from now. For now, until I've got a vehicle. I mean, whenever I get a vehicle, I'll tell you one thing. I'll be at Holford. Because the parking's easier. And for long memories of Holford. Look at all this here. I wonder if this is caused by storm and erosion, or is this caused by the deer sheltering here? Because that's where I come down off. If I'd come the other way, I would have come down off here somewhere in a minute. Well, we're not going to make the half past three one. We should make the four. But it's, it's actually so likely then that I've missed the four out. Oh, I think that's where I come down. Come down from there, around and down. Yeah, that takes you back up if you do, if you do that. And of course I want to do a walk up. Look how steep that is. I want to follow a track. Take me up. I've done one lower down, but I've got a feeling there's another one that'll take you up there. That's got to be done. I've got to get my knee better though, because I don't know if I'll ever be able to get over to the Downsbury Hill Fort until my knee's better. Because that's going to be a big hike, and I'll be coming up early in the morning when I do that. That'll be like a very, very early start. You can't make it very, 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 very. I think the earliest bus you can get out could be up by seven or eight o'clock. So, but if you're out by about, or it could be half eight. No, I usually get out here about eight. So, and that's got to be on a Saturday. And that's if they run the buses frequently on a Saturday. I mean, I nearly had a shock earlier today when it said there wouldn't be a bus to 20 to, to 11.40. I said that to one of the... When I spoke to a bus driver, it wasn't my bus, but I asked him. He said, oh, no, that'll be right. I said, but yeah, but it's 2021. He said, no, but it'll be right. And then, two minutes later, my bus came. So me looking online was right. Right, now, just over there, if you, over that bridge, and just go up and round a bit, there's a path, and I think that's the path I'm going to have to take when I want to go up on the top. There's a lot of exploring to do, but of course, pressure on your knee is enormous. It's enormous on your knee. Of course, a bus could be full of kids. Get the four o'clock one, couldn't it? Could be. Oh, it don't matter though. Right, so, yeah, there's a path that goes along there. That's the one I'm going to have to get next time I come over. Because I need to get up on there. I need to go that way up. Over and out, everyone, for a minute. Now, i just wait till I get to the bridge. This is the first walk over on the Quantocks for 2022 today, 24th of March. First walk on the Quantocks. There we go, the Coleridge Way. And that'll take you through the village and you have to tr follow that feather and it'll take you all across the fields and everywhere. Of course, then you get cows out now, so some of those walks can't be done. And, uh, but that's the path. Just go up there just a little way and go up there on that bank. Or if you cheat, just climb up there and do it. Or you might even be able to pick it up down here. But I've got a feeling it's going to go 
turn and go up. Well, that's what I would do. I'm not going to explore it now, but I think that's what will happen. It'll turn and go up. When we get to the gate, I'm going to check the time again and have two paracetamol. That's plan. Well, it wasn't too muddy at all. I didn't have to jump any streams either on this visit. It's been a nice little gentle, warm, quiet visit today. Um, yeah, it's been a very easy going day, I'd say, for me. I'd normally pack a lot more in, but I think it was sensible what I've done today. Very sensible, actually. And then, like I said, might not be tomorrow, but Friday, I'm going to, on my bike. Not a big cycle, but I want to try it. Because, like I said, when I had some similar problem two years ago then, I haven't really had any trouble for two years. I went out on my bike, right? And it, it just sweet clicked back in place and that was it. It's lovely though, isn't it here? Lovely, isn't it? We get most of the bog of the whole walk as we go down here. So anyway, when we come, we don't go up that way. It might link up, that one down there. That's the one to do, but it might still link up. There's some sheep up there watching me. Hello. You know the way, don't you? You know the way. Eh? Yeah. It might link up with this one. Right, what would you say now, Sheila? It was um, 20 to 3. You were aiming on an hour, weren't you? It could be. What, what would you do if it was quarter past three now? I'm not rush him. No. I'd rather walk round the church for half an hour than try and get the half past three. Yeah. So... Okay, well it could be that it just comes out here. That it's a blackbird there. Could be that it does just come out here. And then you do have to go that way and work your way up. I'm gonna get the map out. Blackbird, I don't see many of them when I'm feeding the birds. Very noisy birds. Open out on it. 